and becoming a pro in Mob EO, you want to make sure that you're aware of your surroundings at all costs. And you should know how to escape different kinds of predators. You should know and grow to learn each animal's strengths and weaknesses. And devise different plans of escape for each animal. Here I got cornered by this guy. But since he's bigger than me, I escaped him. But yeah, he crashed my entire internet service when he killed me it's that for each one of these animals each one has differences so I'm gonna show the mouse first to get around the mouse you're gonna want to use its size for its advantage for being a small animal it has a lot of strengths and weaknesses rabbit has slightly more strength but it ha in some cases it has more weaknesses by being bigger also should I start a doge clan on mafia because it would be in in the O or something like OMD Omega Mo Doge so don't abuse your animal's strengths or weaknesses all the time. Abusing them will get you killed. And if you're being so if you are about to be killed and there's a tiny gap that you can fit through if you were pushed, go up to it and let your predator attack you until you face through. For a pig, you'll want to stay mostly in mud, and if you're being chased by a predator, go into the mud to avoid them. This is going to be a long guide, isn't it? Let's take this musk ox for an advantage here. You also will want to use your ability in mud to your advantage to get tail bites on those predators. So I'm going to get this fox around me and dive into some mud. Here we see this hippo. I used the hippo as a barrier to get the opposing fox stuck on it and killed. I'm just gonna find someone well for the mole for the mole onward you should have the basic steps down. I'm just going to leave some of the other animals up for you to decide on how you want to use them. I'm going to commit suicide on this bear. Huh? Apparently I could Apparently I somehow nipped him. That was weird. Anyway, let's just let this guy kill us. On to the next animal, the shrimp. Once again, same stuff for the mouse, but with the shrimp, you want to use its un you want to use its ability to go underwater for an advantage. Also, it is weaker, but you could easily use its weaknesses to its advantage. Let's take Puma here for advantage. In concept, what in the world? How did that spawn? Oh yeah, if you're going to avoid a, let's just go out to land here. Doing switches like that can easily do you favors. But for all the water animals, you'll want to use their strengths and weaknesses to help them out. And let's just help this guy out. On to the chipmunk. Whenever I get dragon and kraken, I'll show you how to be pros of each. With the chipmunk, you'll just want to run. Use its strengths and weaknesses, and just run. You would want to use wiring holes to your advantages at times. 
because you will need a lot of water at the Arctic. That's basically how you get to be a pro of all the animals. You just follow the basic steps for their low revolution chipmunk, mouse, and shrimp. And until you get to Kraken and Dragon, keep that in mind and I will help you.